new government plans to undo what it calls the BJP saffron agenda. Earlier, there was the furore over the anti-cow slaughter laws. Now the Congress turns its attention to school textbooks, namely lessons on RSS founder Keshav Baliram Hedgewar. The Congress has accused the BJP of ideological corruption, calling the RSS founder a coward who deserves no pedestal in history. Slamming his brand of Hindu nationalism, the Congress says he played no role in India's freedom struggle. The BJP has accused the Congress of vendetta politics, claiming the government is waging a cultural war on Hindus by sidelining Sangh icons in India's freedom movement. It is recorded history that Hedgewar campaigned against British rule in India and was imprisoned multiple times for sedition. He fought for independence under the banner of Hindu nationalism and even joined the Congress in 1919. But he quit the party in 1923 after opposing Mahatma Gandhi's policy of launching the non-cooperation movement with the plank of Khilafat to restore the Khalifat in Turkey. He then formed the RSS in 1925. So the, are the Congress party's charges against the RSS founder rooted in fact? Who is twisting history for the sake of politics? BJP are so corrupt in their mind, which they wanted to infuse uh, in the system of studies, which we are against it. Hedgevaru, Sotantra Horat Karu, Theli, Aladru Sabit Madli, in this Tele British era, Shamapane Koridanta, is a Nakali, Sotantra Horat Karu, Manat and Hedagidra, Yuva Tiaro Hedgi Kotida. आरएसएस देशवासियों को दिल में है, रुदाई में है, वो हटा नहीं सकता, सिलाबस से हटा सकता है, वो जो लोग सत्ता में हैं, उसके वजह से सिलाबस से हटा सकता है, but दिल से हटा नहीं सकता। This is not an astonishing thing. When Sidra Maya became the chief minister, every time chief minister takes his total administration is mandated. Only regarding education, you can see everything. Spokesperson of the BJP, Sanket Yanagi, is the spokesperson of the Congress. Desh Ratan Nigam is political analyst and also a lawyer. We also have Rashid Kidwai, author and senior journalist. I'm going to begin with you, Sanket Yanagi. Uh, during the elections, the Congress party spoke about its guarantees, it, it talked about progressive politics and accused the BJP of uh, doing what they say was regressive po politics of division. Aren't you doing the same now? Is this really what should impact or affect the people of Karnataka? Firstly, it is not. Let me clarify one by one. Over the last three and a half years of BJP rule, BJP has demolished the brand image of the Karnataka as a secular growing state. In Karnataka was one of the competing states with the rest of the country. And it was one among the top bidder for the number one position in the country. It was known for its secular thoughts and the progressive vision. And now that ideology or that identity of the Karnataka has been demolished by the BJP, by its communal agenda. And what are you doing? For a moment, for a moment, let you are me correcting history? aspect of it. Are you correcting history then? The damage which has been done by the BJP is not to the people. People have voted us to undo the damage caused by the BJP. Hmm. That answers everything. Okay. Ajay Alok. See, I just don't understand the intentionally these people are hell-bent because mentioning Hedgevarji without any context, playing with the cultural ethos of the country without any context, that what does it show? Actually, it shows the basic hatred towards the Hinduism, towards the Hindu culture, 
towards the culture what India follows. And I'm at pain to see that fellow congressmen who also don't accept to the ideas, they also give in. I mean, you are calling Hedgevar by names. Do you know he was expelled from the school for the first time in Pune? Because hmm. he cited Vande Matram. Hmm. He was the doctor of that point of time and he was respectfully called Guruji. Hmm. Forget about that, he established RSS and whatever because your, your natural hatred towards RSS will come out. But none other than Pranav Mukherjee, your president, sir, your party men. When Pranav Mudha visited uh, Hedgawar uh, place, he wrote that India has lost a true son of a soil. I mean, he has such a big contribution to the national freedom movement of India and you are just saying, uttering lies just because of your hatred towards Hinduism and just because towards your hatred of RSS. Okay. I mean, this is so utter if, disrespect. So, the, essentially, it is about uh, Sanket Yanagi. The charge is that what you accuse the BJP of doing, you're doing the same. This is, if anything, the politics of division, politics of communalism. How are you being progressive as you wanted yourself to be seen as? Firstly, the chapter is for the fifth standard. Yes, they should not be Only... they should not be fed hatred in class fifth. They are ten year olds. So for the ten year old kid, we are infusing the communal ideas. We are infusing the ideas which is against the constitutional ethos like secularism, and we are infusing the ideas which is against the togetherness, brotherhood. Okay. This is not so acceptable. That is all what uh, Sanket uh, Yanagi says uh, Mr. Hedgevar actually stood for. Uh, come in on this, uh, Rashid. Rashid, you know, ever since a new government has been formed in Karnataka, we are seeing it's getting caught in these issues which are very, very uh, politically sensitive and, and which would essentially mean that the people of the state are being seen as being caught fire uh, in the uh, being caught in this crossfire, the constant crossfire between the BJP and the Congress. Uh, Maria, I think the BJP is getting paid in the kind of same coin. You see, I am personally against this whole idea of uh, you know uh, history being used as politics. But there are umpteen examples that how uh, you whether it is the education ministry at the center or several state governments, they've been you know there is a concerted attempt to erase use, uh, Mughals and several other you know chapters from the uh, history textbooks, which is prima facie is wrong. History should remain what it is, and it is of course the children should be you know told to inculcate you know draw lessons from it. We see the BJP may be very uh, you know fine in saying that you know Hedgevar's role should I mean should be acknowledged should be there, but but when it came to their own backyard, when uh, uh, when Lal Krishna Advani mentioned about Mohammad Ali Jinnah, Jinnah also had played a role. Hmm. So the so the BJP was totally you know uh, flabbergasted and they distanced from uh, uh, from Mr. L K Advani, and that that played a role in downfall of Advani. So I'm saying that a lot of double standards, all political parties, Congress, BJP included. Hmm. Okay, Desh Ratnagya. Uh, well, Maria, in fact, uh, to quote few samples from Dr. Hedgevar's life, hmm. as one was already given by Ajay Alok when he was expelled from the school, singing Vande Matram and opposing the song in favor of the king at that point of time, and persuaded others uh, also in the class not to sing that particular song in, in, in praise of the king of England. So he was expelled from there and then he had to go. His parents died at the age of 13, they led a very difficult life. And he gave the concept of a Poon Swaraj in the Congress 1920 session prior to that when he was the head of the volunteer force. And uh, that was rejected by the Congress. And subsequently, the differences between the Congress and the Egdebarji grew uh, further. And, and in 1923, when the communal riots broke, uh, because of that uh, non-cooperation movement's main plank was Khilafat uh, platform. So from that point of uh, time, Dick Devar said, we will form a new organization. And a new organization came forth in 1925. Hmm. And believe me, the present Congress is not the Congress of the old times. When he went through a rigorous imprisonment of one year and when he was released in July 22, the Congress organized a reception for Hegdewarji and where Motilal Nehru and Hakim Ajmal Khan spoke in praise of him. And again in 1930, uh, 31, 32, when he came out of the uh, uh, jail, 
again hmm. the congress organized meeting in uh, for reception for him so those are the examples and he in fact supported in 1930 itself the purna swaraj concept which actually came after 10 years of hegde wardji's assertion on the purna swaraj hmm. when congress said in 1930 we want purna swaraj and every shakha in the country was directed by hegde wardji to participate in it and celebrate 26 january as an independence day hmm. he went twice to and went to a rigorous imprisonment he had a vision he, he took part in the armed struggle by being a member of the anushilan samiti in yugantar and he was carrying bombs and literature revolutionary literature uh, supplying arms from one place to other when he was young uh, lad of 17 18 years old can you undermine all these examples from history you may uh, delete his chapter but this history as it is has to okay. be told to the people okay sanket you know you know here is the yes. version of history which is being said by deshratn nigam and ajay alok and then you are talking about another version my question is are you not confusing a 10 year old then by making they, them read different versions whenever there is a change in government they have enough confused the young minds and we are removing those confusions we are making so, it so for 5 years because then another government will come and then they will be reading another version so the students mind should be left very pure and available for the studies to grow in public yes so what the about students... the scientific temper when you talk about scientific temper it should be about looking at history and this is like a Ma convenient Maria, thing that happens every time whether it is the Maria, bjp or the me, congress maria let me make uh, two points very clear hmm. that chapter is not about mr hedgevar it is a chapter written by mr hedge hedgevar uh, about so many aspects including the communal issues hmm. that was not require his communal ideas why to be imposed on the student which is of 5 years old or the uh, fifth class okay Ajay, so, no, no, but you have not answered my question. The question is, where is the communal agenda here? So, see, the BJP much talks about the nationalism. Why the RSS did not hoist the flag from 1947 or 1950 to 2022? These are the questions. I, I, so I, many issues are there. Let they have to answer. Let us not learn okay, so okay, nationalism. Let, 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 let that question be answered. Desh Ratnigam, why didn't yes, the RSS me... hoist the flag? See, let me tell you. Uh, I think the ignorance is bliss. 1950, the court flag, flag, flag court of India came, which uh, prevented private organizations and leaders to hoist flag, which was actually was by in Mr. Mr. Jindal. Mr. Jindal went off the Congress, went to the Supreme Court, got an order, judgment, so that the private person or organization can hoist flag. It was in in 2004. that that restriction was removed please understand the law and know the law before making any comments like that from 2002 why did not the host the flag till 2022 2000 2000 2004 national nationalism where was the nationalism where was the national flag there was the, the judgment of the supreme court came 2004 the judgment of the supreme court came even after the withdrawal where was the hoisted where was the hoisted at it is hoisted is, at many places it is showing the double misleading. standard in my Please opinion it is nothing but a double Please standard don't mislead we sing national anthem we raise flags we hoist flags please don't mislead no, i am a part of rss this is one please of don't the question which was raised you earlier not seen, by the congress even after us. the withdrawal of that order why did you not hoist the don't flag don't blatantly lie please don't blatantly lie on national tv so let them clarify his tone when did they hoist the flag i am saying so i am a part of rss I am saying so. I am a part of RSS. When did you hoist uh, the flag before 2000? All, all, all Republic Day, Independence Day, and all functions. We, but we, it is we on a it. public record. But it is on a public record. It shows otherwise. Let me know. Hey, boy, that is your history. I am not in going to subscribe opinion, to your history. Is it is known for its have, double standards? You have the natural hatred. You have the natural hatred. The young Sub minds of the country. You, you it want to give all the. the is, communal ideas of the young mind which is not acceptable hey, hey, may, I, may i make a request to you may i make a may i make a request let the students be left with their own choice of having the education sir, of sir, scientific sir, paper communal ideas are not a, acceptable we will oppose may i make a request to you may i make a request to you can i you remove that chapter and include all the incidents i have told you about dr hegdewar in that in that book 
Hmm. I have given you so many examples from history. You hmm. okay? You remove that chapter. Hmm. Include whatever incidents that has happened yeah, in his see, life. We are not erasing anything. Yeah. His uh, from the that. history, we cannot do that. Can you history removal can, can be done only by the BJP, but can not by anyone that? else. Can but the only thing is, let us not inculcate or incident. impose communal ideas in the young minds. You are not answering. Let the young minds from those you're ideas. Not you are not answering. So my point is, and the point of the Congress is very clear. Let me include all these and have a scientific temper. It is necessary please for the personal growth. It is necessary for the growth of the country. Let the country growth should not be hampered because of the communal ideas being imposed on a young mind. That is what is our intention. What is wrong in this? For which the people have voted the Congress and unvoted the BJP. Incidents of history. Please include these incidents of history of Dr. Hegdewar in that particular chapter. You delete that chapter and include these incidents of history, which you cannot hide or delete. We can't history include or delete that. something as per our and your whims and fancies. What is what necessary is for the students and the student part of mind and the young mind circle. that only would be necessary for the growth and the country that we will inculcate not and answering. we will impose. Not and answering. we will see that, that personality it. should be free from any influence of communal in nature. What is wrong? You have not answered. You include these incidents of freedom struggle of Dr. Hegdewar in the chapter. This is history. I am not this, asking this is anything. Not, here. This is not a RSS school. You preach that in Are the RSS I, school, but not in the government school. Let us not be influencing the young minds of the country or the state. No, this is not acceptable. So singing Vande Matram in a school is coming Just because one party wants it. Just and because going one to the jail in support it. of non cooperation is communal. Supporting Poon Saraj of Congress 1930 resolution is communal. Are you saying this? No, no. See, the chapter itself says. You have caught. You have got, you have got yourself trapped. No, it is. Yes. So yes. Okay. Rashid Kidwai, Rashid Kidwai, you know, for the larger understanding, every time there's a change of government, there's change of textbooks. And yes, so there are multiple interpretations of, uh, you know, figures who are associated with our history. And freedom of struggle. Absolutely. So, Maria, this is a this is what I'm saying. This is a very cyclic thing. This should be done away with every yes, time. It is cyclic. Change of government. Uh -huh. uh, there is a change of government in uh, in Rajasthan. There is a change in test books, and it's very confusing for somebody who studied something in the fourth standard. By the time he or she comes in ninth standard, they have a very different thing. And Understanding when they're in the college, yes. they hear they hear something very different. So, I think history is too important a subject to be politicized. It should be left to the professionals we should not have any hesitation in describing and discussing uh, not so favorable circumstances and the events that have unfolded okay, in the Sankhya Dinagi, of is condition. there is there is there a group of but historians or a panel of historians who have said so yes but but Maria or, or are you doing it out of your own whims history. and fancies when Absolutely. when former president who was from the Congress party or died in the wool Congress leader like Pranam Mukherjee had acknowledged the contribution of Hedgewar. The moment yes, president so, of India, yes, so Mr. Then, Pranam so, Mukherjee. Maria, it takes two to tango. Na. It cannot be one side, one street thing. What I'm saying is that BJP is also bringing about, bringing a lot of changes in the test books, wherever in the BJP rule state, as well as in the center. And they're doing it as part of their political narrative. So they should not be, you know, they should not be negating it. They should acknowledge it that, yes, we are doing it. But here they are not saying it. My friend, uh, Mr. Desh Nathan Negami is a very able uh, lawyer. He is marshalling very good arguments. But the fact of the matter is that flag had nothing to do. Many religious organizations, I would say on record, whether it was a Christian organization, Muslim organizations, and of course, uh, so to say, you know, the Hindu organizations, they were reluctant to hoist, uh, you know, national flag. And, and you know, things have changed in the last 10 years, 20 years or so, but it has nothing to do with Navi Jindal case. Okay. So one minute, let me intervene here for a minute. There are two important aspects. The world is competing with each other in the scientific temperament. And we in India are trying to do or undo something which has been damaged. So most of the time which has been spent by the BJP in the last three years is to do something which has damaged the reputation of Karnataka or damaged the progressive thinking of the students of the Karnataka. And that we have been undoing it immediately so that the students at least from now should have a free education free from all ill will communal ideas and other things which are not necessary for the students for their personality growth when we are focusing on the student 
individually and their personality growth individually if we allow them to grow then it will be allowing the growth of the country as a whole let us understand that students are the future of the country and students mind should not be corrupted in any way and it should be protected rather okay. and in that case my opinion is okay. and the opinion of the congress is that let the students have so th that is choice. the priority of the congress party right now in a state where they promise that they'll be talking about welfareism uh, ajay alok again it is an issue which is is bjp's play field you have been playing on this field and winning elections on this argument well maria let <laughs> maria if somebody is against nationalism we cannot help it what congress spokesperson is saying and when Co congress party has been doing is nothing but the cultural arm of any political party and mind you this is not history this is his story they want to plant the his story angle and the history has always been his story for the congress but here the point is such a rabid element like bk hari prashad who had the audacity of comparing mla with prostitutes and saying loudspeaker protesters are nothing but terrorists he comes up with remark against someone like hedgewar ji and congress is defending and congress is supporting that is ridiculous that is something to be ridiculed for because they are against see for them it's very easy you know he has to use the word communal at least 10 times what is communal if we talk of hindu we become communal and if you keep on spacing muslims keep on doing for you pfi is secular congress is secular and bjp becomes communal because we talk of hindu i have the I mean, chapter what kind of, of ideology and what kind of history you want to give I no no what, what kind of ideology of you have why you are, why you are, why you, why why you are against the ethos of india you cannot make history as your story by your logic by your explanation then after 10 years down the line we should have sonia gandhi in the textbook for the school children of 10 year old because jawaharlal nehru was there or sonia gandhi has to be there after 10 years you will put a sonia gandhi in the history books and the students should know about it is this the concept of india why the relevant leaders who were important to the freedom movement who were important to the india who were important to the concept of india why they were missing for the last 60 years and if you are trying to do something inclusive if you have a problem in that that becomes communal for you you know strange S definition S of Sanket communal Inagi, you know the point here is that you have not given due place in history or in uh, popular culture to people like sardar patel and others the bjp says that they have been given their due now in the last 9 years of modi government are you not making an effort and getting caught in an argument which is clearly putting you on the losing side mr sardar vallabhbhai patel was the deputy prime minister and the home minister of india independent india and he was most powerful person in the congress he only banned the prss let us understand that and one step which was stringent and necessary at and he only lifted the ban you should know that vallabhbhai patel has changed the entire pace and phase of india's development otherwise india would have suffered from the communal issues from 1947 onwards and one thing let us also understand the vision of sardar vallabhbhai patel in banning rss branding it as a communal force which is destroying the country communally okay. has led that growth of the country and now let us not have it the reputation and mr uh, wajpay or mr narendra modi no praise about sardar vallabhbhai patel who was after all sardar vallabhbhai patel all he right. was from this sanket yanagi really appreciate your time we have come to the end of this discussion ajay alok deshratn nigam and rashid kedwai the karnataka government has now released detailed guidelines for the Grier Lakshmi scheme imposing several conditions the scheme provides financial aid of 2000 rupees to female heads of households the government has clarified that only those people who belong to antodaya the apl and bpl families will be eligible for the scheme the scheme excludes women who are government employees or taxpayers the scheme will also not include women who have husband or son paying income tax returns or with a gst number lashing out at the karnataka government the bjp has termed it a great betrayal for not mentioning any of the conditions during the elections
ಬಿಪಿಎಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಮತ್ತು ಎಪಿಎಲ್ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಪೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಪೇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಪೇಯರ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಜಿಎಸ್ಟಿ ರಿಜಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಗಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಈಗ ಆಶ್ವಾಸನೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಭರವಸೆ ಅವ್ರದ್ದು ಅನುಷ್ಠಾನ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗಿರುವ ಬದ್ಧತೆಯೂ ಅವ್ರದ್ದೇ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಗೊಂದಲಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇವು ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಆ ಗೊಂದಲಗಳು ಮುಂದೆ ಮುಂದುವರೆದಿದೆ ಆ ಗೊಂದಲಗಳ ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಗೊಂದಲಗಳನ್ನು ಸರ್ಕಾರ ಬಗೆಹರಿಸಬೇಕು ಅನ್ನೋದು ನನ್ನ ಆಗ್ರಹ ಇದೆ ಚುನಾವಣೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಆಶ್ವಾಸನೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಆಶ್ವಾಸನೆ ನಿನಗೂ ಫ್ರೀ ನನಗೂ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರಲ್ಲ ಟ್ವೀಟು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಸಿ ಟಿ ರವಿ ಅವರ ಮನೆಯವರಿಗೂ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಈ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ಐ ಟಿ ಇದ್ರೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಾಡಿಗೆ ಮನೇಲಿ ಇದ್ರ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಬಾಡಿಗೆ ಮನೇಲಿ ಕರುವಾರ ಪತ್ರ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಈ ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಹಾಕಿರಲ್ಲ ಮಾದೇವಪ್ಪ ನಿನಗೂ ಫ್ರೀ ಕಾಕಾ ಪಾಟೀಲ್ ನಿನಗೂ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂದಿದ್ರು ಜಮೀರ್ ನಿನಗೂ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂದಿದ್ರು ಜಮೀರ್ ಮನೆ ಮನೆಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂತ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಗೊಂದಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಎಲ್ರಿಗೂ ಕೊಡೋದಿಕ್ಕೆ ಗೊಂದಲ ಯಾಕೆ ಅವರೇನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಪ್ರತಿ ಇನ್ನೂರು ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಫ್ರೀ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರು ಅವಾಗ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಹಾಕಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅವರ ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಕಾರ್ಡ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎರಡ್ ಸಾವಿರ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಹಿಳೆಯರಿಗೆ ಅಂದಿದ್ರು ಯಾವುದೇ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಜನಗಳ ದುಡ್ಡನ್ನು ತಗೊಂಡು ಜನಗಳಿಗೆ ಫ್ರೀ ಕೊಡೋದು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಇದು ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ಸಿನ ಬುದ್ಧಿವಂತಿಗೆ ಮೆಚ್ಚಲೇಬೇಕು ಜೋ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಬತಾಕೆ ಪಹಲೆ ಇವು ಬಾತ್ಕೆ ಐತ ಐತ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ದೇತಾ ಹಿಂಗೂ ದೇತ ಒಂದಕ್ಕೂ ನೈ ದೇತ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸಬ್ಸಿಡಿ ಬಿ ದೇತ ಒಲ್ಲ ಕಿಸ್ಕೋ ದೇತ ಕಿಸ್ಕೋ ನೈ ದೇತ ಪಹಲೆ ಇ ಬೋಲ್ನ ಜೀತ್ನೆಗೆ ಬಾದ ಇರಾದ ಬದಲನೆ ಕಾಮ ನೈ ಕರ್ ಅವನು ನೋ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಗುಡ್ ಸೈಕ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೂ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾವು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಿನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ this is very bad because lot of almost 80 to 90% women voted for congress special for the 2000 but now they are telling the apl and bpl abhi jo naya government jo congress aaya hua hai jo file jo unhone public ke liye jo yojana banaya hai usme se ek yojana jo aap puch rahe 2000 rupya har ladies ko ghar pe milna chahiye condition jo apply kiya hai sabse ghatiya condition kya hai जो घर पे अगर उसका बेटा भी अगर आई टी पे पे ही है तो उसको नहीं मिलेगा शिफ्टिंग फोकस टू अनदर स्टोरी द कंट्रोवर्सी ओवर सेक्सुअल हैरेसमेंट चार्जेस अगेंस्ट वेटरन तमिल लिरिसिस्ट वेरा मुथु डजंट सीम टू डाई डाउन आफ्टर पॉपुलर सिंगर चिन्मय श्रीपदा अनदर सिंगर भुवन सेशन हैज स्पोकन आउट अगेंस्ट द लिरिसिस्ट भुवन हैड सेड इन एन इंटरव्यू इन 2018 that she had a horrible experience with uh, Veera Muthu and the incident happened almost 20 years ago. The singer further claimed that she carried the pain in her heart for years and that she uh, did not speak out earlier because she was scared. Seen in News 18 spoke exclusively to Bhuvana Seshun and uh, she said that her son gave her the courage to speak out against Veera Muthu. Listen in. In 2018, you also spoke up against uh, Vairamuthu on the ordeal that you went through. Take us through what really happened. Has there been any action taken? Uh, you filed a complaint with uh, the National Commission for Women, NCW. Uh, what has uh, been the update in that case? Right. Um, see, uh, I'd like to reiterate before we speak anything that the reason why I came out with my story in 2018 was to substantiate what the other girls, the younger girls were saying. Because my story happened way back in 1998. So I have nothing to uh, show as proof or evidence or anything like that because our conversations were either in person or through a landline phone. So there was nothing to show. But the purpose behind sharing the story was to tell people that, yes, he is capable of that because it happened to me. Because even now, the same thing is happening. We haven't progressed. Maybe, you know, you have technology, but where have we progressed here or here? We have not progressed. And back in those days, I was very, very crushed. But today, I want to fight for the younger girls who are trying to do something in their, with their lives and with their talents. How many people are silenced? How many people are scared to even come out because of the social media backlash? And every uh, victim, 
uh, I don't know where uh, any politics or religion or caste or anything comes when it comes to a woman's honor. Mm. And everybody is, you know, immediately building screenplays around every accusation. How will anybody talk out, especially the younger girls? How are they going to do it? You know what happened? You had uh, filed a complaint with uh, the NCW. Ever since then, was a complaint registered? Did the police actually start investigating the case? Police investigated with Chinmay, not with me, because I was a nobody. I'm still a nobody in the industry. So uh, they questioned uh, Chinmay. Uh, but after that, nothing happened. Nothing moved. Nothing moved forward. And there are always, you know, a social uh, influence, a political influence, and so much associated with these things that it's so difficult for things to move. And then they get diluted because I'm almost sure uh, what is going to be the impact of talking about this in 2023 again is going to be more social media abuse and backlash for us. Mm. Nothing else. And if you look at it, it's only me and Chinmay. We have been doing like it's independent fights, you know, individual independent fights. She has her problems. I have my problems. Uh, she has much bigger problems because she's being banned and things like that. Like I said, I have nothing to lose or gain. So I'm doing a different thing for I have a different purpose to coming out with this. But uh, I don't think this is going to move forward unless the laws become strict and unless somewhere the mindset changes that you know you want to listen to an accusation and then you build your stories around it, that's okay. But then listen first. Do you regret that the entire uh, Tamil industry remains silent on this issue, not really wanting to offer support to people like you and Chinmay? Yes, I'm upset about it. Yes, if you ask me, I'm terribly upset about it. And uh, the, the silence is so deafening, if you ask me. The silence is so deafening. And if at all anybody has come out with it, you know, a couple of people have supported the Me Too movement in general, not particularly against Vairamundu. They have supported the Me Too movement in general. Mm. Otherwise, people who have spoken about it have always asked, why so late? Every industry. I, I'm not even restricting it to the film industry. Since this is involved with the film industry, I'm particularly saying that the unions will have to interfere and at least have a dialogue. If not anything, at least you call and talk and have a dialogue. It would make us feel a little good. On that note, we are slipping to a short break. Up next, a showdown over election security in West Bengal between the BJP and the TMC. As the Panchayat polls are slated for July 8th, is the spectre of election violence returning to the state? That after a quick break. Stay with us. Support their children, even if they are uh, having a relationship, uh, live-in relationship. In All right. that way, I think they will be able to share if they are going through any problem. Okay. Um, Rekha Sharma, we'll leave it at that. We'll see how this story plays out. Uh, this is, of course, the latest in a series of very, very violent crimes, uh, almost inhuman crimes, where not only is uh, the victim, the woman in, in these cases, murdered, but also the body is uh, disposed of in the most brutal of fashions. <laughs> The murder of Shraddha Walker sent shockwaves across the nation. Her partner Aftab murdered and then dismembered her body, dumping her parts in a nearby forest. Now, a similar horror has emerged from the maximum city, where a 56-year-old man has been arrested for allegedly murdering his living partner and chopping her body into pieces. There was a tree cutter, there was a saw cutter that was uh, present inside the hall as well as the bedroom. There was uh, a polythin, there was a black plastic which was put on the bed. Her uh, hair was cut and kept there. Uh, there were parts of her leg which were being found by the cops. I was living in a couple of years, I was living in a couple of years, I was living in a relationship with my father. I was identified and arrested by the accused. जो डेड बॉडी के पीसेस मिले वो को एनालिसिस के लिए हमने जेजो हॉस्पिटल में भेज दिया The accused, identified as Manoj Sani, was staying with 32-year-old Saraswati Vaidya. Decomposing body parts were found in the home and the police say the murder could have occurred two to three days back. Police have recovered 13 body parts and are trying to find where the rest were dumped. As per the FIR, 
the police have recovered a tree cutter that was smeared with blood and say that human flesh was kept in a bucket near the kitchen. Sources say the accused used to boil the body parts in a cooker in an attempt to hide the smell. But the neighbors raised the alarm. I was first time intimate I had a smell. I thought there issues here. I thought normally a mouse would be a mouse, so smell would sting. But it would continue for two days. How did it Afternoon or night? It didn't morning or evening. Forensic teams are trying to unearth more evidence. But the accused has floated a theory that Saraswati committed suicide and he did not want to be blamed for her death. The police is not buying it. क्योंकि बंदा है मनोज सानी करके और उसकी वाइफ थी वह सरस्वती वैदी करके सरस्वती वैदी की उसने हत्या की है और उसने उसका डिस्पोज ऑफ करने के लिए उसका पीसेस करने का ट्राई किया है ऐसा प्राइमरी इन्वेस्टिगेशन में निष्पन्न हुआ है। From Shraddha Walker to Saraswati Vaidya, both women targeted by their partners then murdered in the most barbaric fashion and butchered to hide the evidence. The big question remains: What explains this mindset? Bureau Report, CNN News 18. And before we open this up to our guests who will be joining us in a moment, I want to first go across to the chairperson of the National Commission for Women, uh, Rekha Sharma. Thank you very much, uh, ma'am, for speaking with us here on CNN News 18. Uh, you know, we are seeing this again and again, whether it was Aftab and Shraddha here in Delhi, whether it is this Manoj Sani and Saraswati Vaidya in Mumbai. We are seeing the kind of depravity in behavior, almost like these are not human beings. This is almost like animal-like behavior. Why are we seeing this extreme depravity uh, in crimes against women uh, of late? I think somehow uh, morally and socially, uh, we are going down uh, day by day, especially the thinking of men that they can get away with these kinds of murders uh, and when uh, the people who, who, who have committed uh, these kinds of crimes do not get punished, then also I think they think that they can go scot-free after committing crimes. And somehow uh, I think how we should, should raise our sons that we need to think, uh, the families need to think that. Uh, uh, morally how we, we should raise our sons and how society can change uh, the way of thinking of our boys, men. Now, in, in such kind of relationships where there is an abusive partner, a sociopath or a psychopath and, and these women are living for three, five, sometimes even ten years, how could they not know, how could they not figure out that their partner is a, is a psychopath? Jaka, yes, uh, they do know, but there is a battered wife syndrome also. That women also get used to these kinds of behavior of uh, their partner. And that is the syndrome. I, and they really need counseling from a psychologist if they are going through it because they are used to. Uh, these men, what they do is when they be misbehave with the woman, the second time they will, uh, you know, ask, they will pardon themselves, they will say sorry and they will again uh, shower them with gifts and love them and they take them back. Women take them, that is called uh, battered wife uh, syndrome. And many of our girls, uh, even in Shraddha's uh, uh, case, we have seen that she was going through tough time with that boy, but still she was living with that person. It was because of that. They don't know that they have to go to a counselor, uh, okay. somebody to and ask help. They don't know how to walk out of that uh, relationship when they are, uh, you know, beaten up or they are uh, harassed mentally or physically. W w one other thing that we've noticed, ma'am, is. There is a fresh face-off between the BJP and the TMC after the announcement of the Panchayat polls in West Bengal, which will take place on July 8. The BJP has slammed the move, uh, claiming the polls were announced in a hasty manner. Leader of opposition, Shuvendu Adhikari, called it a murder of democracy. He further added that the polls were announced without holding a single all-party meeting. BJP also says there hasn't been any discussion on the security arrangements for the single-phase election. 
TMC leader Abhishek Banerjee hit back at the BJP over the demand for central forces accusing the Saffron Party of spreading unrest in the state ahead of the elections. The state still bears the scars of the election violence from 2021. The big question remains, has that spectre of violence returned to the state? थ्री थाउजेंड पंचायत के मेंबर्स का इलेक्शन होगा तो इसके लिए उनके पुलिस के पास इतना पुलिस बल ही नहीं है जो सारे बूथों को सुरक्षा दे पाए इसीलिए सेंट्रल फोर्सेस लाना चाहिए स्टेट इलेक्शन कमिश्नर ने न्यूली अपॉइंटेड ही हैज टेकन अ डिसीजन ऑन दी पंचायत he has decided that it will be held in one phase with state police. We have to abide by this. Priyanka Tibriwal, spokesperson of the BJP. We have Meeta Chakravarti representing the Congress. Biswajit Dev, spokesperson of the TMC. And Vivek Srivastava is CPI leader. Priyanka, if you claim that you have the support of the people of Bengal, then why are you worried about the dates? You should be confidently entering into the elections. No one is worried about the elections coming over, you see. It is only that we are seeing that in Bengal, TMC is responsible and uh, they should be slammed for trying to corrupt democracy. See, in democracy, when there are so many other uh, national parties which who will be participating in this election, in the election procedure of members who will be elected in more than 63,000 seats, over here, they have not called a single meeting uh, where all parties can come and speak whether we are ready at the moment all of a sudden they just announced yesterday that you know there will be elections now we have always seen that if there is any kind of unrest in our state it is only and only tmc who is behind the unrest whether it is during the ram naomi or whether it is during elections the brilliant example of this and the most visible example of this was in the year 2021 when the elections got over during the elections as well and after the elections as well we have all seen and nobody can deny that because Mamata government was held responsible by the High Court, by the Supreme Court for any violence which took place in West Bengal. Okay. So now also they are moving and looking forward to another chapter of violence in West Bengal. Okay. So, Biswajit Dev, what is this um, rush to have these elections? And why have these dates been announced in a hasty well, manner? Well, well, the, uh, well, the elections were due. And... Uh, and obviously, in a democracy, the election has to be held. And the opposition, including the BJP, was always demanding that the, that the panchayat election should be held in time. And that is what we have done. The problem is with BJP, they don't have the organization to contest the election. They don't have the capacity to even contest 40% of the total panchayat seats. And that is why they are raising one after another flimsy grounds. Once they are saying that we want central force, then they are saying that we want online nomination. Next day they will come and <laughs> say that we will want online voting. Because the problem is they don't have the people's support and neither they have the organization. You see in 2021 also, say, you see they demanded the central force. And the central forces were there. And the elections were held on eight phases in spite of our protest that the COVID will spread. They did not hear. And election was held in eight phases, along okay. with central force. Okay, let, let me ask Vivek Srivastava, which the side of the debate are you on? Are you are of the opinion that the, the elections... I'll come away. to you, I'll come the to you, Priyanka. was thrown away Wait. from Bengal. There has to be... The... Should the elections be held? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, there has to be a middle path, okay? No, first of all, I would like to tell the TMC spokesperson that elections are done as per the constitution of the country, hmm. the election commission, and the democratic ethos of this nation. Kaun jitega, kaun harega, who's going to go to get how many seats, I mean, who's prepared, who's not prepared, that is not supposed to be the criteria for deciding the dates. Unfortunately, in our country, previously also, many governments, as per their convenience, many parties influence their governments which are in power, 
and try to shuffle up the dates to, to suit their convenience, which is what has, has been done here. Our concern is twofold. Hmm. Number one, in the last Panchayati Raj elections, if you see the amount of FIRs registered, the way the Communist Party uh, offices were attacked, people were murdered, our candidates were not allowed to fill in the papers, and there are so many cases of the same type at that time. That is a concern for us, and that is why if the ruling party is not going to take the opposition parties into confidence uh, on, on issues, it is not good for our democratic process. Now, the BJP is also not a dood ka dhula. They want time so that some communal frenzy can be created, some okay. Hindu Muslim Vaad okay. can be created, okay. some issues okay. can Before be created. Before I bring in Priyanka, so what about the Congress party? Will we be seeing yeah. some kind of uh, alliance, at least at the panchayat level, between the Congress and the TMC? Okay, good evening to all your viewers. So and be, before that, I that, answer that, 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 Yes, yes, yes. 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 Uh, so, so good evening to all your viewers. I think we still have very raw memories of the violence that happened during 2018 Panchayat election. And we definitely do not want to see a rerun of that violence. Hence, we have asked for deployment of central forces. Our demands are very simple. We have been given for around 70,000 seats. We have been given only 24 hours to file nomination. Six days, four hours each day. That is definitely so not sufficient time. So we have gone to the High Court and even the High Court has observed today that the time given is not sufficient. And there is a hearing that's going to happen on, on Monday regarding the same. We would want enough sufficient time to be given to all candidates to file nomination. We would like to ask for deployment of central forces. We would like uh, an assurance that no civic volunteers will be used. We would like an assurance of zero violence during panchayat election. We would want videography to be done of all phases during the polling, during the uh, vote counting day, so that we can ensure a free and fair. So you are not demanding that Mamata Banerjee should have should election. have called an all-party meeting. Absolutely, absolutely, he sh he should have called an all-party meeting. And the idea is that this should okay, so be a celebration of democracy. Be it Congress, be it the CPI or the BJP, all of them are of the opinion that why why is this entire process I, I being am, hurry? I, I am again repeating. Uh -huh. well, 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 we are not in a hurry. Elections are held in due time. But why, why no all-party meeting? And that is what exactly meeting. the State Election Commission has done. No, no, no. The, really? Why all-party meeting? Why During only the time when the Parliament elections, elections are announced. Are a when, 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 the, when the Parliament elections are announced. Ever, ever have you seen that an all-party meeting is called by okay. the All India Election Maria, Commission? Maria, no, allow, allow me, not. allow me. You see, elections will be he held is in due time. In due time, and that is what he is repeating it's been the done. Same thing again but and again. ultimately, Can I come you see, in they are unable to. Yes, because Maria. you are unable to. You are unable to contest the elections. You don't have anything. No, so you, you are saying the same to the Congress and the CPI. You don't have. Are you saying the same to the BJP, the Congress, and the CPI that none of them? Have no. any kind of people yeah, support? No, only yes. DMC has, yes. right? None of them. Only, only none of them. Okay, fine. Priyanka. Priyanka. That is what I'm saying. That is what I'm trying, trying, trying to say. That see, he feels that it is only the TMC who has all the support. Actually, it is not the support. It is the support of violence which they utilize and which they use. It is only the violence which they use to come to the chair in power. See now, my friend, he is saying that it is time for the elections. Now, let me remind him that there are more than ten municipalities where election is due and more than 10 years have passed, but no election in those municipalities. They are also in West Bengal, be it Havra, be it other such municipalities. So it is not required there. But it why, is very much required that so, entire election. Why are now you so I will tell you, Mr. Dev, please keep quiet. Keep quiet. Who's afraid election. of people? Who's afraid of why, people? Why Who's afraid of people? Afraid Who are every day called by the ED and the CBI are, on charges are, of you corruption? Are your ministers you are, are in jail, people. sir. You accept your that. Ministers that are is in jail. that is the your that is the ground reality. Your, your that leader, is the ground reality. Is wife, you face that. Every day called by the CBI. That. Now you see. I'm telling you, Maria. It is because Abhishek and that is why you rely. On central force, by the CBI you bring in, in order, you bring in the in army, order to crush you bring in the army, but ultimately it will be the people now, see, it is not of that. Bengal BJP has who will vote for the high court, asking who will for the high court. And BJP, not for BJP is asking because for you, you know, don't uh, have even what is this man doing? Please ask him to be quiet. He the doesn't have seats. Sir, Mr. Biswiti, they write that you were at least out of the educated world. I didn't know contest. that your qualification has also gone in vain. 20% of the seats also. 
I, I pity you, uh, Mr. Dev, I really pity you. I thought you were an educated person. Anyways, so we have gone to the High I, Court I, asking I, I, for I, I, deployment of Central Accept Forces. The reality. We have Accept asked the truth. for, you know, the nomination dates to be extended. Not just that, we have also asked for the online nominations. Because you see, TMC, only now, it is the constituency of Abhishek Banerjee called Diamond Harbour. And in Diamond Harbour, what has he done? There's a place called Falta. All the candidates, their houses have been surrounded by minorities. They are not being allowed to move out of their houses now. What will they file nominations? And yeah, Mr. See, Dave, your Mr. politics Mr. Dave, is a politics of being with a big mouth. On the basis of religion. With a big mouth. That is what you have done I, earlier. I pity you. And that is what I pity you, you are trying Mr. to do Dave. now. I really but pity you. I am against that you are trying to defend you. something which is you indefensible. And you are trying place. here to speak you are, your you lungs out against what? Against you, those who are having charges have, of have, corruption. You have and no just to cover up the story, you are wanting that the panchayat election should be held now. No, in sir. The, if Abhishek Banerjee has done a scam, he will have to go to the ADS and CBI. If his wife yes, has done any scam, Abhishek he will Banerjee, have to be held responsible. Nobody is out of law. Nobody is of Abhishek Banerjee. See, because, see, see, look at, look at his desperation. Oh, my God. Okay. Sir, okay, we have two other desperate. panelists as well. Vivek Srivastava. Let that me bring in Vivek Srivastava. Vivek Srivastava. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one moment. Vivek Srivastava, yes. You are afraid of Abhishek Banerjee. Your party right. is afraid of Abhishek Banerjee. Huh. Right, right, right. He will be in Tihar soon, like your other netas. And then where will you be decide that? No, I mean, let's let's talk sensibly. Let's talk sensibly. First of all, if the TMC is so confident of its victory, it should be more gracious. No, no, then it should be more gracious. You're talking about BJP or TMC? You are more gracious. I'm talking about the TMC. Okay. If the TMC Let's says the I'm TMC very confident in this of a victory. Yes. And, you know, like, uh, yeah, and, and, and uh, uh, you know, you guys are complaining because you're the opposition and you're not going to get a seat. First of all, again, I'm telling you, Vishwadi ji, winning a seat, getting even a single vote is not the criteria of deciding the dates of election. That has to be free and fair for all incumbents who are going to fight it, number one. Number two, if you are so confident, if you think you are very popular, you need to be more gracious. You need to call the all-party meeting if you are so great and you should listen to us and you should be more flexible. However, the problem is there was a very bad taste in our mouth in the last elections. Our candidates were not even allowed to go. Many were murdered on the way to file in the nomination. Our party offices were attacked. Youth Federation leaders were beaten up, backbones. I mean, I mean it was so violent last time in 2018. We also urge that there should be an online process somehow of nomination that will be better so that something that happened in the past should not be repeated. Again, however, I also do not agree with this narrative of minority versus majority. Abhishek ji ne minority laga diya and everybody's house was surrounded. That is not the right way to deal with things. I mean, uh, spreading communal frenzy, spreading this Hindu versus Muslim in any state across the nation is not right and it is not the narrative with any national spokesperson of any uh, national party should do. Let us talk about it from a neutral perspective. Okay, okay. So my only appeal is no, no, what but, you have done but is But left wrong. is hardly neutral. Yeah. You have clear ideological yeah. division, so talk. I mean, let's let's not say that you have a centrist. I can line assure to have. you. Yes, I can, can I, assure can I you can I that it will be a peaceful election. I have made it. Will no, but how can you assure? If it is about the election commission, then how can you give that assurance? People will be able to give the mandate. No, no, no. But how can you give that assurance when it is being done by the election commission, by the state election commission? I, we, I am again saying that election commission and the administration okay. will take all steps to ensure you run the administration you run the election you run the police you say today you run the police and then you will say 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 you this is, the, is what the administration is, the, is doing. Is Mamata Banerjee's family is, is personally utilizing all the police personnel in West Bengal to provide protection to the Bhaipo and his Congress family. Because we see the Bhaipo and his wife are out, being called by the EDM CBI. We are seeing your police officers are running on street. Oh, Mr. Bhutuji, we also know. Maybe you will also have some police. You think? You be, your police behaves like Havaldars. This is how you treat them. Police officers each and every day, they just run behind Abhishek Banerjee. That is the duty. They are not meant for public protection. 
जावेद करीम नाव it is on everyone's handset it was the year of orkut facebook twitter whatsapp had not happened to us yet deficit and that was the year i started my journey in cnn news 18 fresh out of college today marks the end of that long long and eventful chapter so thank you viewers for multiple ramnath goenka awards thank you viewers for the nt awards Thank you for the Enba awards and thank you for making News Epicenter the most decorated news show. Thank you very much and see you soon. Remember another phase of this tragedy Hiroshima with me and Prime Minister Smriti Irani as well. This is not really acceptable it's coming right from the top. This is essentially shows that huge crowd is gathered here already. All eyes and ears would be on what the Prime Minister would be saying. For 48 days Kashmir is under siege. the loda panel directly send those emails uh, to the two banks here at the calcutta medical college hospital chaos is continuing aap wahan par the jab hua tha ye ghatna in islamabad wo wahan par kya kar rahe the jab ye ghatna hua often called as india's prime minister's capital allahabad was renamed as prayagraj in 2018 this has nothing to do with surgical strike but the symbolism of terrorism is quite important because the prime minister is arriving here for the first time top police officers who are involved in the entire investigation so far have ruled out this being a case of gang rape for the category of reporting on politics and government broadcast the winner is maria shakil for the year 2014 the winner is Maria Shakil The BJP's first response now coming in um, in which they are questioning the statement that was made Hello everyone you're watching News Epicenter with me Maria Shakil the showdown continues between the Wrestling Federation of India that is the WFI and protesting wrestlers India represents that global south of 120 countries which are developing countries and underdeveloped countries and the government has been saying it very clearly i was the one who asked mr anurag thakur that is there an effort at shielding ye bola ja raha hai ki it could go the karnataka way are you concerned is the government concerned with bjp hum har chunav ko badi gambhirta se lete puri taakat se ladte hain Obviously, Gujarat Titans have had the more superior season. They've looked the more superior side. So it's going to be a close game. Shuma has been fantastic. Chief Minister Biren Singh has blamed Kuki terrorists of being behind the recent violence in Manipur. He claims that terrorist groups are using sophisticated arms against civilians. So what's behind the Kuki insurgency? 
Rahul Gandhi goes uh, to foreign soil every time and he criticizes India and he criticizes the government from there. What difference does it make where he's criticizing from? He's an opposition politician. His job is to criticize the government. How is that a crime? So nine years of Modi Sarkar, but for you, what is the single biggest achievement under Prime Minister Narendra Modi? Very, very deep the transformation of India's governance. Grateful that the country has given us an opportunity to serve under Prime Minister Modi. Seva ke no saal ke liye, main desh ke nagrikon ka aadhar dhe. Namaste, Jai Hind and welcome to this edition of The Right Stand. This Friday edition is a very special edition, ladies and gentlemen. We will have Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar talking about the nine years, uh, the decade as the government is calling us, uh, calling it in a short while from now. But first up, the big political debate so far where after the Congress's landslide victory in Karnataka elections, the Siddharamaya government is now on a mission to undo what the Bombay government did. The Congress now plans to rewrite history in Karnataka school textbooks. The Congress government has said that it will drop K.B. Hedgevar's speech, the RSS founder, Keshav Baliram Hedgevarji's speech from Karnataka textbooks as the party claims the BJP government forced the saffron agenda on the students, a charge that has been rejected by the BJP. So, how does the government, the Karnataka government, plan to revamp education in the state? Let's have a look at this. The Karnataka government has decided to do away with KB Hedgevar's speech in the class 10 curriculum that was introduced by the Bombay government in 2021 for students who opted Kannada as their first language. Many chapters written by Hindutva writer Chakravarti Sulibale have been dropped as Congress feels Sulibale is a WhatsApp university graduate. Chapters on Sanskrit scholar Bananjay Govindacharya might also be dropped. Now let me remind you that V. Govindacharya was awarded the Padma Shri by the UPA government itself. Now it's not just the textbook. The government now plans to review land allotted to RSS affiliated organizations too. So the government will scrutinize land allotments done in the last four or five months. A massive war of words meanwhile has erupted between the BJP and the Congress over the entire matter. The Congress's claim is no contentious chapters on Hedgevar. The BJP's attack is that Congress is mocking history. Congress's claim is can't allow lessons on cowards. The BJP's attack is Congress is erasing those who are not part of their history. The Congress's claim, we don't have to learn from the BJP, the BJP's attack, people will teach them a lesson. The Congress's claim is that syllabus corrections are necessary. The BJP's attack, the syllabus change is not needed at all. Why? Why K.B. Hedgevarji divides this, this entire aspect? Why does he divide? And why is this division between the Congress and the BJP? He's a patriot for some, hailed as a great son of India. There are others who believe that he's a coward who's been inspired by quote-unquote traitor Vinayak Damodar Savarkar or Veer Savarkar. Why he's a patriot for some? Because he's considered a true nationalist. He's a coward for some because he's called Muslims Yavan snakes. He's a patriot for some because he's a prophet of a resurgent India. There are others who believe he apologized to the British. Then, many believe he fought for India's freedom. Others say he advocated a Hindu Rashtra never actually fought for freedom, nor did he endorse Gandhiji's Satyagraha. The BJP claims that this is not the first time the Congress has disrespected RSS leaders. When Rahul Gandhi was asked if he'll apologize for his Modi surname remark, Rahul Gandhi said, my name is not Savarkar, it is Gandhi, and RSS never offers an apology. Now here, there is a correction that Vinayak Damodar Savarkar was not affiliated with the RSS. 
But yes, he is considered a Hindutva icon and that's where Vinayak Damodar Savarkar is associated with the Hindu Mahasabha, never with the RSS. Karnataka Chief Minister Siddharamaya said RSS founder Keshav Baliram headgiver had no role in the Quit India movement and had joined with the British. Reacting on the Culture Ministry tweet praising Golwalkar, Shashi Tharoor had said that the government of India is hailing a man who disrespected the Indian